Welcome to Raising Happy Children. Well, I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner and I've been practicing children's nursing in the UK for nearly 20 years now. My aim is to give you some health tips to make parenting significantly less stressful. Today's video, I am talking about how to boost iron levels in your baby or toddler. Having low iron levels, your baby can suffer symptoms such as pale skin, poor appetite, dry skin, rapid breathing, and poor growth and development. So it can really affect your baby's health. So how can you boost your baby's iron level? So iron is a very important nutrient that the body needs in order to transport oxygen from the lungs to other parts of the body. Number one tip to increase baby iron's level is to feed baby iron-rich food. Yes, this is a rather obvious tip, but I have to mention it because we as parents, we get stuck in a rut. Stuck for ideas for breakfast, lunch and supper. Feeding our baby the same things over and over, and over again. So it's very important to know which food you can include in your baby's diet to boost that iron level. There are many foods that contain iron in them, so I cannot possibly list all of them on this video. So, some iron-rich foods include beans, lentils, certain nuts, meat, seafood, and also eggs. So, what are the best type of beans to feed your baby? Beans, chickpeas, kidney beans, or lentils are good iron-rich food for your baby. Tip number two is let baby eat something with vitamin C with their iron-rich meals. It's a well-known scientific fact that vitamin C can boost iron absorption. Serve iron-rich foods alongside food containing vitamin C such as broccoli, oranges, and tomatoes. Pairing an iron-rich food such as beans with tomatoes, a vitamin C-rich food, will certainly boost baby's iron absorption. Tip number three. So if you are going to be giving your baby lentils or grains, you should really soak them before you cook them. So basically what I do before I cook any beans or lentils, I soak them overnight in water. So you put just about enough water to cover the top of the, the beans and then you leave that to soak overnight. Soaking your beans before cooking reduces the cooking time and it also helps the beans to cook thoroughly and this can make the iron in the beans much more absorb, absorb, absorbable to your baby. In order to boost baby's iron absorption then try not to overuse milk. Avoid giving baby milk or calcium rich foods with their main meals. The reason is that calcium makes it harder for the body to absorb iron. Your baby was born with a small store of iron. For the first six months, milk provides all the iron that baby needs. I am not saying to avoid giving baby milk altogether. What I am saying is that from six months onwards, if you are still feeding your baby milk between the ages of one to five years, then avoid giving your baby too much milk. In fact, in one study, drinking milk reduces iron absorption by 60%. That's a significant amount. So, don't overuse milk for your baby. Between the ages of 1 and 5 years old, don't allow your child to drink more than 24 ounces of milk in one day. This will definitely decrease the amount of iron in your baby's body. And also try giving the milk a separately one or two hours after an iron rich meal talk to your doctor to get baby's iron level tested 
Because having low iron levels, baby can develop iron deficiency anemia. Lack of iron cause reduced hemoglobin in your baby's red blood cell. Iron deficiency anemia is a very important symptom that you need to look out for in your baby. It can be diagnosed by your doctor in a simple blood test. So if you are concerned, get your baby blood tested. So the very important question is, should you give iron supplements to your baby? And although it is much better to meet your baby's iron requirements through a healthy diet, your doctor may recommend iron supplements. When it comes to iron levels, too much is not a good thing, too little is also not a good thing. Iron supplements should not be given to your baby unless you have spoken to your doctor. You need to first consult your doctor in order to make sure that your baby is really anemic and this can be done by a simple blood test. If your child's hemoglobin or iron levels are too low, where your baby will need that extra boost of iron. Okay, so your doctor might recommend a high dose of iron initially to start with. Then you can try to increase your baby's iron levels by just using a healthy diet. Of course, we know that babies are very fussy when it comes to eating all together. So my advice to you, mummies and daddies, is to go online and make a list of the foods, the iron-rich foods that you think your baby will enjoy and feed this to your baby every day if you can you can write them down stick them on a list put them on your fridge so, so that way you can be reminded every day on what foods to include in your baby diet and we have plant-based iron which is non-heme iron so if you can try feeding your baby um, animal based um, sources of iron which is better because it is more absorptable by the body. Him iron can increase the absorption of non him iron so if you can combine these foods this is even much better. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and help me to reach 500 subscribers.